Five Most Effective Pocket Pistols for 2024 The realm of pocket pistols is often filled with ridicule. While I don't stand on this bandwagon, a lot of people, I mean a lot, believe that these pocket pistols aren't good for self-defense. But then again, I do believe the best defense gun is the gun you bring with you. And to be honest, this philosophy is the essence of these micro-compact handguns. They are easy and convenient to carry. It's just a good thing that we have a lot of options for high-quality pocket pistols. Believe me or not, these guns could work as your primary pistol. They just don't deserve to become backups. Hello everyone, this is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of the best pocket pistols that you can check in 2024. These picks are known for their reliability and accuracy despite their small size. Now, before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now let's return to the video. kel P32. The diminutive size of the kel P32 made it one of the most popular pocket pistols these days. It is chambered in 32 caliber and comes in a hammer-fired construction. It also flaunts a double-action-only trigger, which I personally enjoy using. Despite being a really small pistol, the P32 shoots rather conveniently. There's surprisingly little recoil due to the fact that it doesn't use a conventional direct blowback operation. Instead, folks from kel decided to have a short recoil operation on the P32. It is effective in taming the recoil impulse of the gun every time you fire it. It's also easy to hide the P32. Well, that should not surprise you, given that this pistol is just a little over 5 inches long and 75 inches wide. Moreover, it is really lightweight. How light? Well, it is as light as your iPhone. When empty, the gun is just about 6.6 .6 ounces. If there's one thing that this gun lacks, it would be its aesthetics. In fact, many turned down the kel P32 because of its rather shabby appearance. I do understand this sentiment, but don't let its looks fool you into thinking that it is a bad self-defense pistol. Aside from its good ergonomics, the P32 is very reliable. Not to mention it is quite affordable, too. It is a good pick for those who want to stay on their budget. Other people say that the 32 caliber is too anemic for self-defense, but based on several ballistics tests, this caliber can provide sufficient penetration depth given that you have the right ammunition. Again, it is not as impactful as the 9mm or 380 ACP, but it is still more than enough to tackle your threats. This also means that the P32 of kel can also serve as an ideal self-defense pocket pistol. Glock 42 If you are a Glock enjoyer, then the Glock 42 stands as the best pocket pistol. And since this is a Glock pistol, it's already a given that it is a no-nonsense gun that features impeccable reliability. Well, these are the things that define the identity of Glock as a firearms manufacturer in the first place. So, what does the Glock 42 offer to you? For starters, the Glock 42 is chambered in 380 ACP and only weighs about 12.17 ounces. It has a short barrel around 3.25 inches, but still provides acceptable accuracy within its practical range. But before I proceed, I have to emphasize that this is a low-capacity pistol. Its magazine just holds six rounds of 380 ACP, which is inadequate compared to its competitors. You would really need to carry extra mags when carrying this pistol if you want to last in a self-defense scenario. Similar to other larger Glock guns, the Glock 42 has all the bells and whistles. It comes with a safe action trigger, square magazines, and a small slide release catch. It is also worth highlighting that its grip still accommodates shooters with large hands. Glock 42 is downright pleasant to shoot. While we all know that tiny handguns tend to have a significant muzzle rise on them, the Glock 42 is an exception. It's big enough to be comfortable but retains a concealable size for a daily carry. And given that it only uses 380 ACP ammo, you don't have to worry about it being snappy. By the way, there's no accessory rail integrated into the Glock 42. The only option you can have for lights is when you use the likes of Streamlight TLR6, since it can be mounted in the trigger guard. But when it comes to overall ergonomics, I have no complaints about the Glock 42. The grip is comfortable, and all of its controls are easy to access. Kimber Micro 9 The Kimber Micro 9 is definitely a great option for a pocket pistol. It is a 1911-inspired handgun. From its look and feel, the gun seems to be a micro-compact 1911. 
and it has a performance that is ideal for every self-defense. Needless to say, the gun is reliable, ergonomic, and easy to maneuver. Essentially, the Kimber Micro 9 was based on the Micro 380 model of Kimber, which was released in 2014. Both of these pistols are tailored in the 1911 fashion. It is an expansive lineup, too. There are over 10 Kimber Micro 9 models that usher different configurations, such as on their slide porting, barrel coating, and sights. However, all models include an extended 7-round magazine. Again, this is a bit painful aspect of this gun. It is a low-capacity pistol, which resembles the original 1911 guns. So if you are going to carry it, make sure that you pack extra mags with you. The stainless variant of the Micro 9 has the properties of a government 1911 pistol. It comes with a traditional slide stop, single action trigger, and magazine release. It is also crafted with highly comfortable rosewood grips. The overall length of a Micro 9 pistol is about 6.1 inches, while its stainless steel barrel spans 3.15 inches. It is about 4 inches tall and has a width that is just a little over an inch. When empty, the gun is only 15.6 ounces making it one of the lightest pocket pistols on the market. The aluminum slide of the Micro 9 is easy to operate. There are deep serrations on the slide that enable foolproof racking. Meanwhile, the three-dot dovetailed sights of this gun simplify target acquisition. I personally think that the aluminum and steel construction of the Micro 9 is quite effective in taming its recoil. The recoil isn't actually diminished, but it is reduced to the point where even new shooters can handle them. Of course, that means added accuracy on the weapon. Sig Sauer P365SAS no, no, no. One of the things that you need to know about the Sig Sauer P365 is that it sits at a borderline between a pocket pistol and a subcompact gun. So, if you know these distinctions, you'll get an idea that it is slightly bigger than your conventional pocket pistols on the market. Hence, if you want a P365 experience but don't want to go big, then you should check the Sig Sauer P365 SAS. There's a particular beauty being exuded by the SAS, specifically in the way it defined anti-snag. Sig Sauer made the gun entirely seamless. For example, its sights were cut off, and the slide release was trimmed. Moreover, you can also notice that its takedown lever needs a flat-headed tool for it to operate. So, right from the get-go, the gun was really designed to be snag-free given that it was meant to cater to the concealed carry market. In fact, SS stands for SIG Anti-Snag. No joke. Furthermore, the gun features a ported barrel to mitigate its snapping, while its flush-mounted FT Bullseye Fiber Tritium Night Sights guarantee superb target acquisition. Accuracy is one of the issues of pocket pistols, and these remarkable upgrades to the P365 SAS address these concerns. It's also worth noting that the P365 SAS has retained the key features of the P365 pistol. It has 10 plus 1 magazines, an optimized trigger design, and seamless ergonomics. By the way, the P365 SAS is chambered in 9mm, so it has decent firepower to boot. And oh, this unit accommodates standard and extended Sig Sauer P365 magazines. Meanwhile, the slide of the P365 SAS is coated with an ultra-rugged black nitron finish. The P365 SAS inherited the reliability of P365 pistols. I already had several runs with this pistol on the range, and I was able to acquire tight groups with zero malfunctions. Even if the gun got dirty, it still shoots, a testament to its tested and tried dependability. Ruger LCP Max the Ruger LCP Max is a respectable choice for a pocket pistol. It is downright compact, impervious to snagging, and easy to shoot. It is just less than an inch wide and only weighs 11 ounces, making it extremely lightweight. The gun is just 5 inches long, while its alloy steel barrel is about 2.8 inches. Despite this, the LCP Max has a good capacity. Its magazine houses 10 plus 1 rounds of 380 ACP. And there's also a 12-round aftermarket magazine that you can get. The stock sights of the Ruger LCP Max are pretty impressive. The tritium and white outline front sight ensures fast target acquisition. It is highly visible, regardless of the lighting condition. It's fully aided by its drift-adjustable rear sight. Meanwhile, its slide has a dovetailed construction, meaning that it can also accommodate steel sights. 
Similar to its predecessors, the LCP, the LCP Max is easy to carry. You don't need to buy a holster for it. In my case, I can easily slide it in my front pocket, and it only produces minimal markings. I also love this gun because its surfaces are rounded. It is not painful to carry at all. And again, I have to mention that it isn't prone to snagging. The gun's ergonomics are quite great, but I have to indicate that if you have large hands, you'll find it difficult to clasp its grip. But the rest of the pistol's controls pretty much meet the standards. Ruger is known for its reliable firearms, and it's fortunate that this quality is present in the LCP Max. My initial test of this gun involved firing around 400 rounds of 380 ACP, such as Barnes TAC XPD 80 grain and various hand-loaded 90 grain FMJs, without cleaning the gun. Let me tell you that I didn't experience any malfunctions. Though there is a snappy recoil, I can say that the LCP Max is accurate within its practical range. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe. Take care and stay safe.